everyone. I'm Will Pet Lover Six here. Welcome to my channel. Um, excuse the messy room. It's almost it's almost time to clean the cages, but um, I'm going to be doing a video on how I build my CNC cages. This was requested by someone on my channel. I'm not going to say their YouTube name because I don't know if they want me to or not. Um, so yeah, I already made a video on how I built the stand down here partially. Because I ended up adding a few grids to make it more stable because it wasn't as stable as I wanted it to be. Um, so this video I'm going to show you guys how I build this cage and how I usually build all my other ones. And yeah, I'll get started. The first thing that I do that I suggest everyone else to do as well is to draw out how your cage is going to look like. Now when you do this, you got to take into consideration whether you want it on the floor, whether you want it... Um, a grid higher if you want how big you want if you wanted two by three two by four two by five maybe a five by three if you wanted one level two levels three levels so these are all things that to take into consideration now I this trailer that I'm living in right now has a lot of holes in it so I wanted to keep my rabbits off the ground so I did a, a stand under it like I mentioned before, and I was originally going to do the cages a 2x4, but right now they're a 2x3. But the stand, as you could tell, um, it is a 2x4. I'll show you how it looks like. So there's one good. It's not going to look the prettiest, it's just that example type of thing. So this is how my stand kind of looks like. Um, this one is open. There isn't a cover on it. And then... My cage goes up like this. So Horizon's cage is actually two grids high and three grids wide. Again, it does not look perfect. And here I do some storage. And also here, right across these three grids, I have kind of like a like grid thing in front. But I can lift it up, like this goes upwards. So I can store stuff underneath the cage also. And here I also have a carrier right here. Now, um, this is just Horizon's cage. I'll start with his cage first. Um, next thing you want to do is like mark where you want the doors. I wanted the doors to be in the middle. So, um, this is actually one door right here. And then I have another door right on top. Um, I made his two grids wide because when he stands up, he should not be able to touch the top of his cage. Um, and when he stands up, he reaches about here. So it's two grids is the perfect size for my bunny. And, um, so I got, I decided that I want my two doors here. You want to make sure you do that because you're not, you can't zip tie them closed, um, when you actually build your cage. Um, Horizon also has one grid kind of like right here in the background going across so I can hang stuff up on it. And then, um, I was going to make him a second level or this would be kind of like a third level. But I ended up getting Alora, so I turned his second or third level whatever that you want to call it into a Laura's cage so here is also a door and up here this is a Laura's cage and this is Horizon's cage now if you just have two bunnies that are already bonded you could um I've done this before I've um I have this one right here and so your bunny could jump on there and then you could jump up here so you just don't put that grid there. But um, this is how my cage is built. So you're going to want to do your front view and your side view and your back view. And kind of like as many views as you can. So you can figure out how you want it to look like. Exactly how you want it to look like. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you guys. Alright so this is how my picture looks like when it's finished. There's a lot of scribbles. You will have a lot of scribbles also. Like crossing out numbers and everything. Um, my The one that I actually drew, like, officially, it had different colors to it. Like, I did lower cage a certain color, the door's a different color, the storage a different color. That's how it looks like. So, for the size, there's eight grids, so that's how I drew, like, the side views. And then, the top view, there's only six grids, because it's two by three. And so, I kind of wrote down the numbers. So, there's 17 for each side. Um, so that makes times two. So that's 34 grids on the sides. I mean, like the front and the back. And then the actual sides, they have eight, eight grids each. And then the tops have six grids each. And I wrote those two tops because 
there's the top of this cage, and then there's the bottom of Laura's cage, but the top of Horizon's cage. So, um, you guys gotta make sure that you get everything specifically. I almost forgot to count the grids at the bottom, too, because I did add some grids to the bottom. So, at the end, I ended up having needing 62 grids, and that's without that extra shelf that I put there. Um, so you're gonna have to make sure that you have enough grids. Um, I said 62 grids, so I suggest you have a few extra. Um, maybe 65 or 70 grids in case that you need to use like extras or if you got different idea to change your cage or any of that stuff. So the next step I'm going to show you guys is everything that you will need to actually build your cage. Alright, so you will need some grids kind of like these. These are already kind of zip tied together because I use them as a barrier type of thing. You need some cable ties. I use these little ones. Um, I had some clear ones, but Walmart was out of the clear ones when I went to buy some more. Make sure you pick up a couple of packs of these because you will use a lot of them. I bought a pack of these binder clips to keep the doors shut. Oh, and you, if you see Laura's mouth is a little orange and red kind of colored, it's because she ate a carrot yesterday. You already got your food, Mr. Horizon. Q connectors are optional. I've built a cage using them before, but lately I've just been using them with the zip ties and the grids. And you could also use some of those pliers, um, kind of like a tool, um, to pull on the zip ties to make them tight. But I find I didn't need to use them. I was able to pull them hard enough. And you also need scissors so you could cut them off like that. I also kind of melted the ends with a lighter. I melted the ends with a lighter so they're not super pointy. They're soft if you run into them because I actually scratched myself a lot on the ends of the zip ties. Hello. And the last thing that you'll need is some sort of base and I used cardboard in my base. This was just a giant cardboard box and I'm actually using this as a door for this doorway because we don't have one as you can see. Um, you could use some chloroplast, wood, flooring, um, basically anything as a base for their cage. But again, I used cardboard, and Alora has actually a garbage bag around her cardboard, as you can see, because she's still trying to get litter trained, um, and I don't want her to ruin the cardboard. And Horizon actually had a full bottom of cardboard, but he decides that he loves chewing it up better than hopping on it, so I gotta replace his soon. Alright, so I'm not gonna take apart their cages to show you, because it's actually took quite a bit of time to build this cage. So when you start, you're going to want to start from the bottom. Um, I suggest you like start like with the back walls type of thing and then do the in-betweens and then just the bottom and the front. Um, I'll show you guys that video again. I'll link it down below. I might add some clips to this. I'm not sure yet because I'm not editing it yet. And like I said, I added this and this lifts up like that and the bunnies actually made a big mess with their poop and hay under there and I added these grids right in the front that way it's not as wobbly because it was actually kind of wobbly when I finished it especially because I have two bunnies in it hopping around so that's how the bottom looks like and then you just I just push this down under here and it's pretty easy to lift up and lower um, I'm going to show you guys how to zip tie two grids together. Alright, so I have my two grids here. Um, as you can see, there's one side that sticks out, the wire, and then the other side, it kind of like dents in type of thing, if you could see what I mean. Um, and what I did is the part that sticks out is on the outside of the cage. Um, so like this, this part sticks out, it's on the outside of the cage. And you're going to need to just grab your zip ties which I accidentally put away <laughs> and you're gonna have to zip tie them together. I actually like changed the amount that I, I was zip tying them together. Some of them I have four to five zip ties but the majority of them I only zip tied them three times. It's whatever you're most comfortable with. with. If your bunny does chew on your zip ties the more the better type of thing. So first you just want to line up your grids. The thing I'm using at the table is not big enough. But you just want to line up your grids like that. And put your zip tie through about the middle one. I think I don't think that there's actually a middle square. Sorry, let me put you down for a little bit. And then you just 
loop them together, and then you zip tie them. I don't have a tripod, so this is why it's kind of difficult. I'll just finish zip tying. Alright, so I zip tied them until they're as tight as possible. Like I can't make it any tighter. This is where you'd grab your pliers if you did want to use them, and you'd pull this and tighten it. And then again, you just put one on the end over here, and one on the end over here. You zip tie those two, and there you go, you started building your cage. So another tip that I have for you is, like, create, is to piece the big pieces together. Like, here it's four grids, I pieced these four together, I zip tied them all together and stuff, and then I put them up on the cage. That way you're not like struggling all leaned over and stuff like that, trying to do that. And for the doors, hi Horizon, um, like I said, Horizon has two doors, whoops, this one slid kind of down. Horizon has two doors, one at the bottom so he could hop out, and this one so I could feed him without him hopping out. Uh, and um, you just want to zip tie them on one side over here. I've zip tied it on the right side of my cage so it kind of swings open this way because the majority of the room is on this side. So I thought it would make a lot more sense for them to just swing open like that. So all the doors swing open like that way. Oh, and another thing, um, you're going to need, if you're going to do multiple levels, you're going to need something to support this level here. I have a pole for um, your closet, it's like you're supposed to hang clothes up on it, and it goes the whole way across. Um, her cage was actually sagging quite a bit. She is shedding a bunch. She is shedding a bunch, and she won't let me pull out some of her hair so I'll try to do that a lot I'll try to do that right after this video sorry I got distracted but yeah this is Paul going the whole way across to help support the middle of the cage um again I was going to do the same for the top here as you can see it's kind of sagging a little bit down but it's steady enough so it's not going to collapse in or anything I'm not worried about that but when it gets bigger because I'm going to make this one a two grid high too. I'm probably going to do the pull across just to be safe. And yeah, that's basically how I built my cage. I got all of my materials at Walmart. Um, it's The grids are about $20 a pack of grids. I think it comes with 18 grids. I'm not 100% sure. You can get them at a few different places also. Um, so yeah, and the zip ties are just a dollar, and the boxes we got them at uh, I think it was Ace. And yeah, I hope that this video was okay. If you guys have any questions um, regarding this cage or if I wasn't clear enough on something, um, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.